as we discussed, we dive, uh, last time discussed the uh, different causes of instability, then how to clinically diagnose and then categorize. And today we will understand the management principles. Again, not the detail, but why sometime we change the liner, sometime we change the component, sometime we can get away with just putting a bigger head or changing the offset. So the, all these principles of basic principle of um, primary total hip uh, replacement as well as understanding principle when revising it. So uh, can you all see my screen and who want to uh, share today? Do we have uh, people who want to share? Uh, we can see your screen, sir. Okay. So I can hear you. Yeah, who, who want to interact? Uh, those who want to interact, I think you can uh, unmute or you can put the name in the chat box. Uh, Dr. Neha, you want to participate? Good evening, sir. Yes, sir. Good evening, sir. How are you, Neha? I'm fine, sir. Okay, so uh, you remember last time the, uh, the classification we told about? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, so we, uh, Dipendra has just revised you the six yes. categories. So first of all, whenever a dislocation comes, always you have to rule out infection. Uh, which sometimes you can rule out just clinically and quite often if it is intermediate or late cases, then you need to rule out by doing some blood test as well. Okay. Um, start your video. What is it saying? Uh, depend it's saying start your video. What is this? Uh, it's not uh, coming here, sir. Okay, but you can see your see. screen of impingement uh, that's uh, five type of causes of uh, instability only. We cannot see this video. Okay, okay. Neha, you can see the uh, slide? Yes, sir. Your slide is visible, sir. Okay, so yeah, the same thing again. Can you repeat those five, uh, six categories? Yes, sir. Uh, first is supposed to be acetabular, uh, uh, acetabular defect. Second mm -hmm. is a stem related problem. Third is abductor mechanism related problem. Fourth is supposed to be impingement. And uh, fifth is uh, cup related. Uh, cup worn out cup. Cup worn, oh, yes, sir. Co cup worn related malposition come in number one. Okay. Yes, sir. And, and the worn out problem comes, uh, which is a late problem, as the commonest for the late problem is, is worn out cup. So, first is root of infection. Then anytime you can't leave a dislocation to uh, do the detailed investigation, first thing is reduce it, okay? And then do a, yes, sir. Uh, a history. And six is... No, six is no cause known. Oh, you don't okay, see sir. anything on the x-rays. You yes, think sir. everything looks all right, but still it is keep dislocating. That is the sixth, which is a by exclusive, okay? Yes, sir. So you rule out infection, you reduce the hip, you do a detailed history, physical examination, some lab test, mainly to rule out infection. And then you do imaging, mainly two images mandatory, which is the plain x-ray, AP, and the cross table lateral. And then uh, you do an examination also during uh, reduction under image intensifier to see whether anything impinging, at what position it comes out, whether the soft tissue is very loose. So you do a telescoping type test and you do abduction, adduction, in, in flexion, internal rotation and see which direction dislocating, what is causing the dislocation. So part of the examination is also examination under fluoroscopy. And based on this, you uh, knowing the history, you also uh, classify into early, intermediate, late. And definition of these are different books give difference. Two to three months is early, intermediate between two to three months to five years. Anything more than five years is late. And then you say whether it's a first time dislocation, second time dislocation, or a recurrent. Any time more than second is a recurrent dislocation. So three or more, normally people cut it. And then X-ray wise, you see for these six causes, if you can identify, and then categorize it from one to six. Is, is that clear up to here, everybody?
Okay, so uh, anybody other than Neha is there to want to participate? Just put your name in the chat box. Uh, there, uh, how many participants are there? A lot of participants there. So any any one of you can come and put your name in the chat box. Okay. So and Neha, uh, what do you see there? Uh, this is a dislocated cup. Let's say on the right picture is dislocated. And the left, you have reduced it back, and this is it showing. So, which category you'll put this? Are you there, Neha? Uh, I think that she has disconnected. Okay, 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 okay. So, this is obviously, uh, as you can see, the uh, inclination of the cup or abduction angle, which we normally hope for about 45 degree. This is almost 60, 70 degree. So is anybody, uh, everybody clear about this or anybody has a doubt, then like uh, ask me, but what we're looking is for this angle from your horizontal angle. And this should be normally a 45 degree, the face of the cup. This is two vertical cup. So this should be, as we said, we are hoping for 40 plus minus 10. That says our safe zone, we say. So this will be your type one. Okay. And uh, that's an abduction or inclination angle. And antiversion is 15 plus minus 10. That's what we are hoping for. So this will be a cup malposition. Hence, it will be a type one. Again, this will be, if this x-ray after reduction, you getting this x-rays, once the cup is, you can see this cup is too vertical. This is almost, uh, you talking about this is almost 70, 80 degree. Yeah. So normally this cup would have been inclined like this. The cup should have been like this. But this cup is almost vertical cup. So this is too much an angle. So that's the reason for it is dislocation. So it will be type 1. And if you then, in this case, and we'll discuss this management, obviously this management, this will keep dislocating unless you change the cup and make it like we have made this here. Um, let's see. So this, we have made it into a, from this vertical cup, we have made it a closed cup or made the angle almost 45 degree. Has that, everybody un understood that? Uh, how we change the cup from this steep vertical position to a more horizontal position, which is more like a 45 degree cup, nine, almost 80 degree cup. So this will be again type one. Next one, again, the same thing. This is keep dislocating. Uh, and if you get this picture after keep dislocating, you can see this cup is almost, almost now again, 90 degrees. So this will require changing the cup position. And that is another dislocation, same type one dislocating. These are uh, these were few three four example of when the inclination angle is too vertical. Now we are showing you where inclination is not a problem. Cup looks almost forty five degree, but cup looks either too antiverted or too retroverted. So does anybody want to participate? Anybody there in the uh, in the group? Uh, I think, sir, Neha, she is ready now. Uh. Yes, sir. Okay. okay, Neha, so can you, and this cup, let's say, I'm not sure this, because this is a very small picture, but let's say this is roughly 45 degree angle, which we yes, normally sir. expect. Yeah, let's say this is 40 degree angle. And this cup is, and uh, keep dislocating. So the next thing to see, once you know that if the inclination is okay, first thing is to see inclination angle. Did you see a couple of pictures we shown before? Or you, you missed that name? Okay. Uh, no, sir. I, I was not able to, sir. Yes. Uh, but actually, we'll have to check the depth of the cup, a version of the cup, and uh, I think the position. Yeah. So we said four, four things. We see it. Yes. Um, and how deep the cup is. Yes, sir. How high is the cup and the angle, which are two angles, and normally the inclination, which is also called an abduction angle, we're hoping 40 plus minus 10, or the antiversion of the cup. So we before this, we've shown you these cups. So this is too vertical. Uh, inclination is too high. This is again too high, almost 80 degree. So now 
that is one cup malposition. The second cup malposition is obviously is if the version is changed. And do you know we last time discussed that what kind of dislocation is this? Most likely this will be an anterior dislocation because you can see more of a lesser trochanter. Can you see that? Yes, sir. Yeah, the lesser trochanter is more clearly more visible. Visible. So that means this is more likely an anterior dislocation and which you can confirm in your cross lateral. But also now you see this cup is too much antiverted. Yeah, so normally you would like this cup to be uh, just about 15, 20 degree antiverted. So if this cup is lying like this one, that means this cup is almost zero degree. If this cup is facing posteriorly, that means it's a retroverted cup. But this cup is, we want slightly antiverted cup, about 10, 15 degree. We don't want this much. This is almost 30 degree antiverted cup. So that's why it's keep dislocating anteriorly. Whereas at the bottom line, if you see this bottom cup here, this is almost retroverted cup. From It's a facing backward. So this is posterior dislocation. And, and how do you know it posterior dislocation? Because you can't see the lesser trochanter at all. So the inclination seems to be all right about whatever inclination of the cup is. Let's say this is uh, 40 degree, but version is it's going too much posteriorly, hence keep dislocating posterior uh, dislocation. So these are all position type one 